Hello guys, my name is Alex and this is a review of a new upcoming game, let's call it like that, Dungeon Siege 3. For those fans, like I was, who've been playing Dungeon Siege 1 or 2, uh, I'm pretty disappointed with this game because it has nothing similar to previous versions. Anyway, I will just describe the game and tell you my opinion about it. Okay, this is uh, how the character selection look like. So you have some kind of warrior, I guess. Uh, you have some kind of, uh, I don't know, what this, like, robe or I don't know. Uh, this is some magician. And you have this uh, range, like, ranger, I don't know, Katharina. Anyway, I will, <coughs> I will pick uh, Anjali, this character, because I haven't played her so far. And let's see how, I'll, of course I'll just go casual the easiest way because I'm pretty noob in this game. I write to you. Okay, I will just stop this. Uh... Okay, as you can see, this is uh, how the game looks like. This is the very start beginning of the game. You also, with your Q, you, okay, yeah, you see. So I have, with my Q, I have this melee attack and a pep press Q again, I have this range magic attack. Each class has some something special, so uh, I will probably describe it when with different classes when I pick them. Anyway, this is how it goes. You movement, you're moving with the B, S, D, and I like uh, A, like it's uh, in any other games, World of Warcraft, Counter Strike, or any other games where you have similar kind of movement. So I'm disappointed in that because if you remember Dungeon Siege 1 or 2, movement there was pretty much clicky. Um, use with mouse. You open stuff and inspect with uh, letter E. So basically, this this man appears to be a blah blah blah. Okay, so I got a quest. I have to find a survival, so I will go inside. Of course, uh, since I've done like first half hour of the game, I I know where to go and how to do it. Uh, so let me equip something. Okay, here's the weapon. Of course, you press F letter to actually, uh, you see, to actually equip. You press OK, and now it's equipped. Uh, staff. I got some staff which I won't use because of the stats. Stats are much worse than mine. So let's move. As you can see, I'm some chick. I'm some magician, I don't know, or this is something between magician and a warrior, I don't know, to be frank with you. Okay, let me open this chest too, so I can see what's inside. I have looted something, let's see, oh, okay, I, I've got the new, new bracers, okay, equipped. Okay, equipped, close, close. Equip system is a bit weird if you ask me, but yeah, nothing I could do about it. Since I'm playing this casual newbie uh, difficulty, it's probably that that's why I'm getting those HP thingies. Okay, this is my first combat with this character. So, yeah, nothing to be so surprised about. It's pretty much lame, if you ask me. I was hoping for some, like, real RPG, like old ones, Diablo, or, I don't know, Neverwinter Nights, or... Well, at least old ones, like Dungeon Siege 2 or 1, but yeah, let's just ignore that and see how this game looks like. Uh, okay, so you see when I press 1, I spin and uh, that's some kind of ability, see? Uh, with Q, I switch stances, basically I become magician. Also, as you can notice in the game, it's a lot of cinematics, which is pissing me off, honestly, because I don't like that kind of system. Uh, you see right now how it look like. Okay. I'll just try to show you the character in uh, Magician Stands and Normal One. So basically, I transform into some, some, I don't know, fire bitch. So, yeah. Now I have to talk to this guy, blah blah blah, I will just skip that. Okay, where is Odo, blah blah blah. Okay, I will just follow this guy now. Because that's what I have to do, of course. 
Okay, I have to light those fuses here, so first one is here, second one is here, and here's the third one, blah blah blah. Okay, I've done that, now everything will explode. Yeah, cinematics again. Also, uh, there's one thing that I've noticed with, on, with those uh, barrels and stuff. I think is, um, okay, let's just skip this. Is that it's similar to Diablo 3. If, you have, if you're waiting for Diablo 3, you probably noticed they have added that option to actually kick the barrels in this way. That's where we agreed to meet. We'll have to stay sharp. They could come for us anywhere, at any time. Mm, so anyway, if you ask me, game looks a bit lame. Camera is something really that's pissing me off because its angle and everything does just... I don't know, it's something I just can't like. But okay, let's see. Okay, I'm entering now the village. You will always want to check the barrels and everything else. Okay, I wish this dude can just shut the fuck up because he's annoying. Oh, seems it's amulet or something. Oh, I don't know what's this. Let me see. Oh yeah, lol. Okay, I will just equip that. It's my weapon, actually. Let's see. Yeah, you see, I'm... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, awesome. Honestly, I don't know. Games sometimes looks, uh, just look awesome to me, but sometimes, I don't know, it just... Okay, right now I'll be fighting my first mini-boss. And you'll pretty much see the, how the combat looks like. Looks like trouble up ahead. Okay, this is the mini boss. What's this? Out of the way. We have no business with you. Spoken like a woman of the Tenth Legion, arrogant and foolhardy. Lucky for you, murderer's son. You'll have no bonus for my hand. Okay, now I'm gonna fight those bastards. Up, uh, I don't want to skip this cinematic just so you can see it. So yeah, basically, if I press 1, that's my special attack. Also, what's, re what's really lame in the game is that uh, whichever your class pick, only those drops are dropping for your class. So if you're a mage, you you will get stat staves. If you're... Okay, shut the fuck up, dude. If you are, if you are like warrior, swords will drop. If you are, some, basically, it's really lame. It's like, oh my god, only items from can draw for myself. 